This tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how I prepare my files for the white box templates um, and go through the workflow that I, I use and some of the settings that I use. So what I've done is I've already opened up Lightroom and gone through and picked out the photos that I believe are going to work for my template, uh, which you can see down here on the bottom. And I'll start with this first one and go through the basics that I, uh, I use. So first thing I do is I check my temperature. I normally set my camera to a specific Kelvin while I'm shooting, so I don't need to adjust this, but um, I like it about 6100 for my strobes and, uh, and setup. After that, I check on my exposure. To me, this looks maybe a little bit bright, so I'm gonna just drop it down uh, a little bit. Following that, uh, I go down and check on uh, my whites and blacks here in the sliders. So I use a trick with the Alt key. So I press and hold Alt while I adjust these. I go with the whites and I slide the whites up until I just start to see the, the clipping that occurs on my box. And then I do the same with the blacks, but I actually pull those down so that I can start to see a bit of clipping on the blacks. This just helps to in, increase the contrast a little bit and uh, get the whites a little whiter, which will work well with the template. Beyond that, you don't really need to do any anything else unless you like a specific style. I typically use a bit of a, a tone curve on my photos, but that's just a preference and style, so I'm not gonna, not gonna do that today. The next important things to do to your files um, are coming down in here to the lens correction section and I use both of these check marks so I remove uh, the chromatic uh, aberration and then enable the profile corrections so what that does is it typically takes out any distortion that you've got from your lenses um, straightens things up a little bit and uh, and then I come down to the next section which is the transform and I use typically use the auto level button. So if we click the auto level button, we can see it's it's just slightly adjusted my, uh, my image, it's straightened it up. I'll turn that off and then back on again. So what it does is it just straightens up your, your photos so that uh, they're easier to work with in Photoshop. It's a little straighter, everything's a little bit uh, more square. I always try and shoot, you know, very square, straight on level while I do it, but you know this this helps it as well so after clicking on those few things uh, it seems to have brightened my my photo up a little bit so I'm gonna come back up to my exposure and just drop it down uh, a little bit so then what I do is uh, once I've got this set for one photo uh, because I use a tripod and uh, my strobes are all the same I basically copy and paste these uh, settings across all of my my photos. So I've already done this, uh, my edits with my tone curve and, and that sort of thing with this photo. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll right click on, uh, on this image over here. I'll go develop settings, copy settings. And this brings up all the things that you want to copy about uh, the settings that you've done. I basically leave it as it is and hit copy. And then what I do is I select all the photos that I want to apply this to. So click on the beginning one, click on the end one using uh, while holding shift, selects them all. Right click and go back to your develop settings and come down to paste settings. So what you do is that'll actually paste all of the edits that you've done on the first photo to all your other ones so that they look uh, the same and consistent. And I can kind of click through and show you how it's adjusted uh, all of these photos for me. So, so that's all you need to do in terms of preparing your files. Um, the next step is to get these ready for Photoshop and, and to get them imported into Photoshop. So again, selecting all of the image that, images that you want, right click, 
and click on edit in open as layers in Photoshop so what this will do is it'll open Photoshop for us if you don't already have it open and it'll load all of these pictures into one sing single document as separate layers in Photoshop from there, you'll be able to start working with these files on your template, um, getting ready to uh, import them in individually, arranging them, uh, and that sort of thing. If you wanna see how I go about that, uh, you can check the next video, and uh, I'll show you how I actually work with uh, the nine box template. Right now, uh, you're seeing that it's just kind of going through and adding each one of these files. So. Anyways, check out the next video where I take all of these layers um, in Photoshop and, uh, and apply them to the Ninebox template.